First step in this job is to remove this front feel and tire in that way and then we can see this tie rod end in here okay and this tie rod end this is this part in here and now I have already loosened these parts and I have to take both of these sides away in this way and then we can go to look in inner area next Okay, okay, and now when both sides, tie rod ends are free, we can next open this part, this uh, joint in here to steering wheel. And there is one bolt what we have to next open and let's go to look that area closer. And here is really hole in here, that one. But I had to open in this way and pull out. And there is one bolt what I had to open in this area. And there is the soft to steering wheel. And next I open this bolt using my socket. Okay, and this bolt is really 12 millimeter. And when I use a little bit longer bar, and impact driver, I can open this bolt easily in that way. Okay, and now bolt is free, excellent. And we can go to take this soft away next. The next part is that I have to separate this this joint in here, that area, there is small soft using my screwdriver or then I only lift that a little bit up and now one part opens and I can remove this whole cover and this part is really from this uh, gabin area and I have also removed bolts in this cabin area. There are those pedals. And now this area and these joints, they are free. Excellent. And this is really boot, but covers this area. Excellent. And then we can go forward. Okay, and then this rear engine mounting removal in here. And there are really two bolts in that area. And in this down area, there is also two poles. And these poles are easy to open in this down area. And let's go to look closer these poles. Okay, and there is really now two of these uh, 14 millimeter poles, 14 millimeter socket. That one is first, and then. That one is second, and then in this down area there is also bolts in this inner holes. But now I open and remove all of this one, two, three, four bolts. What I open, and let's look that what what happens then. Okay, and now I have removed four of these bolts. One of these are bolt in here and then those three of those they are these big nuts what are in this position in here and here okay good okay and then I can take this engine rear mounting away and it looks like that and there's really three of those bolts and one nut in here. Okay, and now this rear engine mounting is free. Good. Okay, and then when this uh, engine mounting is away, next we have in here one 
two, three, four bolts what we need to open. And now we can see those bolts better. One, two, and in back area two. And these bolts are easier to open in pillow area. And let's go to look that pillow area next. Okay, now when we are looking in this pillow area, there is one, two, and in that side, two bolts. What I need to open, and let's look that how I open those. Okay, and size is 14 millimeter of the socket, and, and these bolts, they are quite tight, but when we have picked this range, these bolts opens. Okay, good. And this is like that side, and then I can use my electric impact driver and take these bolts away. Okay, and now I have impact driver. Okay, and now bolts are slippery. And I have to install my tool in this up area that there is also this bolt in this up area in here. Okay, and in up area I install also 14 millimeter wrench in here that way and then impact driver in, in here down. Okay, and now bolt opens easily and also nut, nut opens and then I can take these big steering rack bolts away and there is really four of those. Okay and now I have removed all of these nuts and I can see that this steering rack is moving and now I can Go to take that away. Okay, and then I can go to lift up the steering rack this way. And know that I have to take these bolts away because now, okay, now now these parts and I rotate them this way. Now I manage to take this whole package away. Excellent. And then we can go to look that little bit closer. Okay, and now we can see this steering rack, what it looks like. And it's like in position. And let's look and take some side view also. also. This is like this right side. And note that these parts are only suitable in right and left sides tie rod end and then check another side like then left side this area good